Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Spontaneity of Oxidation in Nature, Part 5, Dr. Ali's Breakfast. I'm trying to, trying to explain to you in this segment the essential scientific basis for why I get more positive reports from my viewers and my patients and my radio and television participants about Dr. Ali's breakfast than any other recommendation that I make with the exception of slow breathing. Spontaneity of oxidation is a process by which high energy substances in nature spontaneously without external influences lose their energy or the opposite is also true that under certain conditions they would gain energy in technical terms that's called reduction oxidation reduction together is called redox but let me stay focused on spontaneity of oxidation it means that if you start something good, it will grow in its own momentum and it'll get better and better. On the other hand, if you start something in a negative way, in a bad way, it'll become better and better and will continue to create negative effects in the opposite side. Dr. Ali's breakfast includes protein powder, 90% calories in amino acids for some purpose. We want to have insulin released in small quantities in slow amounts in response to protein rather than in large amounts in a sharp bolus in response to let's say an orange juice or cereal. Insulin is also Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. In at lower rate of release and smaller amounts it is healing. So it supports the healing mechanisms which are also spontaneous in nature, which will grow on their own momentum. The same thing is true of lecithin in the liver. It promotes healthy liver detoxification process. It triggers the healthy responses and they grow with their own weight, so to speak. It includes flaxseed powder. That's the best thing for cell membranes and especially for the brain. Again, the same way. It includes organic vegetable juice, which is the best way of getting minerals. And the minerals, of course, also, minerals are cofactors for enzymes. The enzymes are catalysts. Once this process of healing begins, spontaneity of oxidation assures that it will continue to grow on its own weight. See, when you, for example, when you metabolized anything, foods, that is a process of oxidation to release energy. Now there's a question of how do you harness this spontaneity of oxidation? Do you live on sugar and get sugar roller coasters, insulin roller coasters, adrenaline roller coasters, and neurotransmitter roller coasters and get blue or outright depressed? Or do you use Dr. Ali's breakfast and in a controlled way allow insulin to initiate energy producing systems of the body in a health way without producing rancid fats, sticky sugars, tangled proteins, and without producing excess molecular debris and excess molecular weight, all of them together, I use the term cellular grease. In so many ways in this channel on spontaneity of oxidation in nature, I'm trying to explain to you that bad things become better and better and good things become gooder and gooder and gooder. It all depends upon which way you harness the phenomenon of oxidation in nature and which track do you take, so to speak. Please watch other segments in this series. It will allow you to understand the other materials at a much, much deeper level.
the central tragedy of medical education in the United States and then in the rest of the world is that people are being dumbed down. People have really no clear understanding of how nature works. So they feed you lies about HDL cholesterol is good and LDL cholesterol is bad and you keep poisoning yourself with statin drugs. They feed you lies and they will tell you that Fosamax will build your bones. Fosamax blocks the bones. It blocks spontaneity of oxidation, which is on the healing side. I can give you example after example, but you get the message. Please watch other segments on this channel, Oxidation in Nature. Children's Health Corps was a nonprofit foundation funded by my wife, Talat, and I to focus on issues of nutrition, environment, and stress for children all over the world. Please forward this YouTube segment to your email, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn contacts. Visit our website, www.kids123.org. Kids123.org. Kids, of course, for other people in the world, K-I-D-S. Thank you very much. Until we meet again, may you be gracious, graceful, and generous in your spirit. Thank you.